It may seem a bit ridiculous to make a video about such a simple and unassuming thing, but I assure you what I'm about to show you is absolutely foundational. It will make you happier, it will make you more efficient, more appreciated, and your cables will last indefinitely longer. Remember who you were before you knew this because you will come out of this a completely different person. All right, let's go. There are four primary worlds in which you will interact with cables. First, anytime you need to power anything, I think that's logical. You may know them as extension cords in the US film industry, they're often called stingers, but here in Canada, we tend to just call them AC cables or shortened to AC. More on this later. The second is anything in the audio visual department. Now these are SDI cables or HDMI cables, both of which transmit video signals. The third would be when you work in audio and lighting and these will be XLR cables. And lastly, if you're doing any streaming, FTP uploads or tethering, well, you're gonna be working with ethernet cables. Okay, so let's backtrack a bit and start with small video cables. The wrong way to wrap these is to make a million twists in the ends. This is the shortest line to either a dead cable or at least one that's going to be a headache to work with. Okay, the solution could not be simpler. All you gotta do is make concentric circles in the same direction with your cable and then tuck in the ends, not many times, just once. And there you have it, just like that. Now, if it comes apart like that, it is only because there's not enough tension in the line and to fix that, you decrease the diameter of your concentric circles, thus creating more tension. So we are going to do that. One, two, three, a lot smaller of a circle now. Tuck once and tuck twice. Et voila. Even better would be to buy some Velcro ends like this and thus eliminating the need to do a tuck at all. Okay, moving on now to the main event, AC cables. Let's start with the cardinal sin of wrapping cable. One that is so nefarious, so evil, so despised that you will most certainly be sent to a far off distant penal colony for your transgressions. Consider this a warning. It is the fabled arm wrap. There is no situation in which this is good or acceptable. It threatens the life of your cables and makes it an absolute nightmare to uncoil. And thus, if you comment on how you do this all the time and it's perfectly fine, rest assured, your comment will be deleted. So you ask, Dale then, what, pray tell, is the solution that will not get me banished to a far off land? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Now, the first version is also not the right answer, but it's certainly a lot more right than the arm wrap. It is the over over. Now this works best with cables of less than 25 feet and it's pretty self-explanatory, I would hope. All you gotta do is grab the cable end and begin to wrap circles in one direction until complete. Tie or Velcro to finish. Now it looks nice and pretty, but it's sadly still a far cry from the piece de resistance that we are aiming for. And the reason, my friends, is physics. You see, a power cable is not just one thing, it's seven things. Inside, we have three copper cables, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. These copper lines are covered in an insulator, and then in turn, are all covered in a final insulating sheath. If you make a wrap in one singular direction, you are simply helix coiling the interior copper lines until such point that they wear out. This can lead to severed coppered lines, which can cause overheating, short circuits, or most often, just a dead cable. Beyond that, when it's time to unravel, the torsion often leads to the cable becoming knotted. So, while you will save yourself from eternal damnation with the over-over wrap, you will still get your wrist slapped for the infraction. So Dale, you ask, how can I be saved from such a fate? Well, this is the main event, folks. This is what you've come for. Let's do this. It is the much loved over under or out in. With this method, you place the minimal amount of strain on the line by continually countering the forces of tension within the cable. Here's how it works. The way to do this is to hold the end in your non-dominant hand, like you're holding the neck of a snake. Grab the hanging line with your right palm facing away from you. Now lift and twist to the inside. Notice that your elbow will also lift. Wrap in the size of a basketball. Now this is critically important because any larger and the cable will get messy and will be much more difficult to handle. 
The second loop can now be made in the standard fashion, in opposition of the previous loop. Return now to the inside loop, then the standard loop, and continue to repeat. To do this quickly and neatly, it's going to take a lot of practice. So make sure you don't just do this once and go, oh, I'm pretty sure I'll remember. No, no. My advice is to grab any old cable around your house and start practicing. Now, some finishing notes. Never do a twist tie at an end except in absolute emergencies. Also, never use adhesives or tape as this will definitely make your cables very tacky. Now, you can use adhesive tape temporarily just not for long-term storage, as the glue will transfer to the cable over time. On that note, when taping down, tape adjacent to, not parallel with the cable. This ensures it also doesn't wrap around the cable, making it a near impossibility to remove without a knife. The over-under method is the only wrap, which allows for a very quick unraveling on set without any knots or twists. Simply hold the male end in your hand at the power source, and throw the balance of the cord towards your fixture. The reason you throw the female end should be obvious, but I'll state it just in case, so you don't damage the prongs. When stacked, it often doesn't look as nice as the over-over, but your cables will last longer, and the next person to use them will not curse your name. How reliable is this method? Well, here is a consumer-level extension cord that has been stored very long-term with an arm wrap. To show that it's never too late, I'm going to rewrap this in the proper way. And voila! uncoils like butter. So here is a complete refresher, start to finish. First, grab the cable, then untie. Hold the male end and toss towards the fixture. And finally, patch in both ends. When striking the set, unplug and flake out the cable near the fixture. Wrap as per over under. Et voila, you have saved the planet, your life, your job, and your soul. Oh, and not to mention the cable, of course. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please subscribe for more videos like this and comment in the comment section below because a little kitten gets its wings every time you do. Peace.